Straight away there was a, a strong feeling of acceptance and not of judgment. When you've got people that are open and honest, you know, as if to say it's all right, you know, I've been down that road and I'm still standing. It's the place to meet with others who are living with all sorts of different issues, some the same as me, some, some not, but uh, it's a, 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 good, a good atmosphere. It gave me a lot of hope and it's given me, it's opened up possibilities for me for the future. In April 2012, Central and North West London NHS Foundation Trust launched the CNWL Recovery and Wellbeing College. The college is a learning and development facility that offers a wide range of courses, resources and workshops that are available to anyone who uses the Trust services, their families, carers and also CNWL staff. The college was introduced as part of the Trust's initiative to embed recovery throughout the organisation. I think the college is, is central uh, in terms of continuing to develop recovery focused services within the Trust. Through shifting emphasis away from symptom reduction uh, and more into focusing on rebuilding individuals' lives. Our emphasis is on co-production in a learning environment. Service users and their supporters staff the college alongside mental health and community service professionals with all courses co-developed and co-delivered together. Co-production is central to everything that we do at the Recovery College. Um, it brings together two sets of experts, the um, expertise of clinical experience and then we also have um, uh, peer recovery trainers and those are um, people who bring their expertise of lived experience. I think I learn a lot from the joint learning environment. I think it's very interesting to see how sort of people work together and complement each other. But I do particularly think sort of the power comes from the peer trainers. It's so much more powerful somebody saying, look, I've experienced that and I got through that. Having been through and walked that similar road to, to other people who've used services, uh, drawing on that experience um, and what, I've, what my experience of that has been, um, I think instills and inspires a lot of, um, uh, of, of people to, to feel that recovery is within their grasp as well. The discussion that goes around in the classroom is fantastic. Um, there's a lot of sharing. Um, what amazes me quite a lot of the time is that um, it breaks down barriers. So staff and service users find that they have a lot more in common than they thought. And that's the best thing about it, is the breaking down of barriers. The college also focuses on the learning and development of CNWL staff to ensure recovery and well-being focused principles are integrated into all aspects of the trust work. I think the college is the vehicle for the, um, the trust vision, I guess, and that what it does is the work that it carries out uh, it enables service users and staff to come along and practice recovery in action. So I think it's an important part and probably a vital part in making the vision a reality. I think there's been a lot of positive energy um, and a real kind of effort to drive it forward, to embed it within the trust, to, to kind of share, share what recovery is about. We can really focus on some of those um, public health priorities that really will make a difference to people's lives uh, and their health and well-being in every way. And we know that some of those areas, we're talking about alcohol, smoking, healthy eating, physical exercise. All of those things take quite a lot of willpower for all of us, a real challenge, but they make so much difference. And when we see people making those really important lifestyle changes, the difference is amazing. The CNWL Recovery and Wellbeing College builds on the national drive to create a society in which people living with mental and physical health challenges have access to the same opportunities in life as everyone else. The Trust has been supported to fulfil this commitment by IMROC, a major national project that aims to change how the NHS and its partners provide services. In order to offer a service that is responsive to all the needs of our students, the CNWL Recovery and Wellbeing College incorporates all aspects of a person's well-being into its workshops and courses. The college believes that whether you are living with a mental health or a physical health challenge, the principles of personal recovery are equal.
I think you cannot separate the body and the mind. I think any, any way that you try and do that, and I think um, traditionally how services have, have worked is that you, you separate the body from the mind, and that just doesn't make sense. I've worked as a general nurse for many years, and I've also worked um, as a social worker in mental health services. So I've worked in lots of different clinical settings. And so I used to see people and just work with them on that bit, whether it's a general nurse, their physical health bit, or as a social worker working in a mental health team on the mental health bit and it, it just doesn't really make sense. It, um, it, services need to be integrated so that you work with the whole person. If you're uh, receiving services for physical health problems you forget how much mental and emotional needs get bound up with that and we've really got to approach things in a much more holistic way and that's the great thing about the college because you can really do that and there's time to reflect on where we're going, um, each individual gets a chance to really think about what their life is like and how that supports their health in every way and their well-being. Well, I'm actually teaching the Telling Your Own Caring story, which for me is incredibly important and I don't think can be undervalued. And I would implore carers to look at this as particularly important for themselves. That is really how I started my journey of recovery, was being able to tell my story in a place which was safe and where you could actually get down to sort of what I would call the nitty gritty or the nuts and bolts of how you really felt. My favourite course to teach I think is uh, taking back control. Um, I, I was involved in, in helping start uh, the uh, health and wellbeing plans that the Trust now used before the college actually started so um, and I think it was that that really helped underpin my own recovery. Uh, and since the college has started, it really is the backbone or the, the central part of the college. I'm embarking on writing one currently, which will help people who have physical health conditions learn how to negotiate the NHS as a service and work in the best way collaboratively so they have the best possible outcomes. And because the courses that we run at the college integrate people who have conditions, include their carers and embodies NHS staff who want to come along to these particular courses. It means that as a sort of triangle of three concerned sets of individuals, there is a meeting where the idea of collaboration and working together for the best possible outcome for the individual really counts. The college's offices and the Westminster and Camden training facilities are based at the Trust headquarters at Stevenson House. Training venues are offered in other London boroughs, so students can attend courses local to them or can choose to travel to other boroughs. To enrol on courses, students can complete registration forms online or in the college prospectus. Forms can be completed manually or electronically and students can register themselves. CNWL staff can register for courses through the Learning and Development Zone. As you're taking part in the course, you become one and you learn from each other. And I think when you're open and honest, then you do learn from each other. I think that's a very good thing. Just watching all that stigma dissolve away before my eyes as people talk, they come in, and you can see, you know, people come in still with a sense of shame. And they come out most proud that, you know, they have a mental health condition, but they can manage it. The CNWL Recovery and Wellbeing College has evolved into an exciting new service that empowers people to be experts in their own recovery and well-being journeys. 82% of the students with experience of using services and those that care for them are consistently reporting they now feel more hopeful, have opportunity and agency to influence and make changes to their lives. In one word, fulfillment. Regrowth. What recovery means to me. Living. Discovery. I'm afraid I've stretched it to two words. <laughs> Unlimited acceptance. Opportunity. Hope. Inspiration, definitely. Without any doubt for me means freedom. Freedom 